Hi, this is Daniel Nugent, painter and decorator. Today I just want to show you a quick tip of how to get around sockets. So um, I've hung this length and basically I've left the socket tight to the wall. And um, what I've done is I, I kind of like put the paper right over it, find my four corners and then make a little incision in the middle and cut like an X shape. And always cut, never use a never use a blade. I've seen decorators before that slashed the bloody socket and uh, scored the socket. But always use your scissors, make a, an X, and then you'll, you'll end up pushing your four corners out like that. So that it'll kind of end up something look, looking something like that, you know. And then what you do is you just trim all the triangles off. So you'll, you'll trim that triangle off, that triangle off, that one and that one. Then unscrew the socket slightly. Then all you have to do is just tuck the excess in behind the socket like that. And I find that way, you know, I'm gonna do it with this one soon as well. So I had two, two sockets on this drop. But that way round, it just saves, because a lot of people think you ought to take the whole thing off and then it's all loose and you end up, you don't know where you are with it. So keep it tight to the wall. Get your four corners, you can even just press with your fingers and you'll see where the corners are. Make a little incision in the middle, cut out, out outwards to all the four corners, push it all back, snip the little triangle bits off, loosen it up, tuck all them bits behind, let the paper go off, maybe later on screw the socket back or even tomorrow to screw the socket back, but that's the safest way of doing it. Um, and also on this paper, it's a it's a non-pattern match. So you can see here the arrow and zero. So it's a non-pattern match, but sometimes a non-pattern match is you've got to watch because when they're rolled out and printed in a factory, you start to get like, it's called shading. So you, it will start off with strong colors and after a while it might start fading. So with this, you get another bit, just always make sure you look for another bit of paper you have to reverse alternate lengths. So you hang one one way, one upside down, and you keep going like that. One normal, one upside down. And basically when I'm, when I'm uh, roll, uh, marking up my paper, I mark the tops with a little, a little T. I don't know if you can see. So I'll just put a little T at the top, just to mark the top end. Um, and then what I do is roll, cut, and then start that end and roll up backwards cut it again but mark the t at this end so you know every time you're hanging with the t it's going to be one one way one the other that's that's the way i do it anyway um but yeah so just always make sure that as well and the tip about the the sockets as well okay thanks for watching and please subscribe thank you